it's Virgin on the Ridiculous. And I'm Brenton, and... I have a Coke in my mouth. That's awesome. And what's your name? Um, that was C-O-K-E, by the way. Um, and this is Jenna. <laughs> and I, this is Virgin on the Ridiculous. I am Jenna. <laughs> yes, and I'm Brenton. <laughs> Look, there we do. That was great. Um, and we have one of our favourite humans in the back of the car, uh, Mon, who may offer some comment or something at some point. Or may just laugh. Or may just laugh, yes. Um, so, I'm not even going to... Usually I'd say, oh, well, this is a movie from uh, 1942 and <coughs> starring Tommy Hilfiger and whatever. I'm not even going to say that because this is a movie that nobody has ever heard of. Um, and for a good reason. Um, is it because it's really bad? Partly, yeah. Uh, it's sort of a straight to Netflix one. So this is my teacher, my obsession. Oh my god! Oh my god. You've seen this? Oh, you, so you can help re retell it if you want. Because oh. usually the idea is uh, is that I, I'm shocked that of, of all films, that's one that you haven't that you have seen. No, that's fine. Um. <laughs> Let me guess, is it about a student that gets infatuated with her teacher? Yes. Does she kill them? Uh, there's a little bit of uh, Does she have murder goes on. Uh, well, uh, we're jumping forward oh, in okay. it. So. Okay, okay. All right. I have an obsession with a teacher. Yes. Yes, well, that's, that's one of the reasons why we're talking about this one, because I... I was actually joking. I, I identify joke. with the character of a... An extremely attractive oh my God. Uh, English teacher. Um, <laughs> why are you drinking my drink? That's that's not you your coke. Sip, so I oh I'd give my you gosh! Some of your own medicine. Mm. Anyway, so we open in an abandoned school, and I've forgotten what the two main characters' names are. Oh great! So we're going to call them Black Hair and Brown Hair. So, okay, is one a teacher and one a No, 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 there, there's two students. They're both female? Uh, yes. Okay. So we see the black-haired girl on the ground. It's the janitor walking around the school. Okay, yes. And he's looking around and he sees this girl with black hair sitting on the ground looking very sad. And, and he's like, oh, I, 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 I'll go get help. Um, and he runs off and then in the hallway, another girl with brown hair collides into him, smearing him with blood, and says, run! And that's, and then it stops because we're back at the start of the movie, so it's like, oh, you know, okay. we've started with the ending. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, Miss, uh, so we, we, we start at school. Uh, Mr. Sumner is the new teacher, and he stops off and he's got, um, his daughter is there as well, and his daughter, we recognise his daughter. She's the brown-haired girl. His daughter is a student at the school. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, she's the brown-haired girl, and she comes in and is like, "Oh, Dad, it's great that we can start over ever since that stuff went on with you and Mum. I think like he, like his their mum, his his partner had an affair or something, or cheated on him or something. I don't even remember exactly, but things didn't go well, so they've changed schools because everything kind of went bad and." Um, and then we meet another girl, which is the girl with black hair. Okay. And she's taking photos because she's like part of the school yearbook. And she's taking like photos and she's taking... the same year level in school as the teacher's daughter? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she takes some photos of like the bitchy girls. And the bitchy girls are being mean to her, but they're like, Ah, oh, but take my photo because I want to be in like really cool. And uh, yeah, so she takes their photo, but they're, they're real nasty. And then she's called Trisha. She's the only person whose name I remember apart from Mr. Sumner. The black haired girl's name is Trish. No, 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 the bitchy girl's name is Trish. Oh, okay. So, and then Trish is instantly um, falls for Mr. Sumner. Because okay. apparently he is utterly, utterly irresistible to every female. Yeah, every um, female. Yeah, it's just, and he's like, I don't know, like, I, I don't know, like, I wouldn't have thought that he was especially handsome. I, I don't know if that's fair or. He's sort of painted as like a cool teacher though as well. Yeah, he's like the cool. Yeah, so like they have their first lesson. Like um, like the Glee, the teacher in Glee. I I guess, but like maybe a bit more, just trying a bit harder. Yeah, he's like, relatable. Yeah. 
and kind of like it's he's meant to succeed, I guess, you know, according to the script, but he, he kind of doesn't. Um, <laughs> yeah, so he's, he's a bit lame, but all the yeah. all the teenage girls are like swooning after the after him. Yeah, absolutely. So and it's because like the kids are getting their phones out. He's like, "Oh, you've got your phones out, do you? Well, you know what? Why don't we all take our phones out? And now, why don't you all show me your favorite music artist?" And say, like, "Oh, look, you know, these are like." These are like literature. This is like literature. Um, oh, so he inspires. He's very inspiring. Like, ah. Yeah. And the yeah. but then he argues with the black-haired girl because he likes lags off the Beatles and. Sounds like the same get, blackhead. N- no. Yeah. The girl with black hair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and, then, and yeah. And then they sort of fall in love. All right. Oh no. Sorry. That that doesn't happen. Um, <laughs> I was skipping ahead. No, it doesn't happen at all. That's, that's very different. Um, she Mom's, sort of falls in love with him. Mom's just in the back like, you're so wrong. <laughs> yeah. Do correct me if I'm wrong because I, I saw this at the start of the holidays. Oh, yep. Um, so she's obsessing with him. Meanwhile, uh, she goes home. Black-haired girl goes home, talks to her mum, and her mum's like, oh, oh, her mum's got a new dress. So she works out that her mum's dating again. Um, uh, and she's like, oh yeah, I met this totally hot guy at the shopping centre. And then we kind of cut to brown haired girl and like dad's going out and he's like, well, I'm off, uh, I'm on a date. In fact, there's a woman I met at the shopping centre. Okay. Yes. So yeah. Um, and this is where we sort of start this, the fact that none of the characters in the movie are capable of making any kind of rational decisions. No good choices no, made. <laughs> no good choices made ever. It's it's pretty amazing. Oh my god. So is it a horror? Like what's the genre? It's 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 ca- it's meant to be like a horror thriller, yeah. So he comes over for a date. Um he's he's like, Oh hey, you know, it's a date and then what what happens exactly? It's like she the the girl sort of sabotages them by Accidentally, or like accidentally on purpose, spilling something on him. I think, like, she spills water all over him or all over her mum or something. And then they're, they're like, oh no, this was my only set of clothes. Like, what, what would you do in that situation, Jen, if you were either of the adult people? And it was just water. And it was just water. If like, you, what? Well, if, if I was an adult and my clothes have got wet, yeah. And they were the only set of clothes I had, yeah. not saturated, mind you, just, you know, I would strip off. No, I wouldn't. Of course you wouldn't. You'd keep your clothes on. But I'm guessing that's not what happens. Would you say, let's just have this date here at home and invite my teenage daughter to join us? No. Oh, well then you're not the characters in this movie. (laughs) Oh, I thought Uh, that was going to be like a sexy part. It's not like a logical... (laughs) No. No. So she didn't have any other clothes in her own house to wear. No, I think it was him. him. Yeah. But the... So the... The daughter suggested, she's like, why don't you just have a date here with me? Yeah. So like, I'll just I, tag along oh on your first date. Yeah. So okay, her teacher. So that's yeah. what she wanted to happen. So yeah. She spilled water on her teacher so that her mum could go out. Yeah. Oh my god. And then instead of, like, drying the shirt at the house <laughs> or just waiting for it to dry. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> like, the teenage daughter on the date. Yeah. <laughs> And then they, they sort of can't wait, so they start kind of having, making, like, sexual, you know, kind of sexual uh, comments to each other like, at the table. And she just kind of, like, sits there and doesn't get the hint. Yeah. And is says, so, oh, well, I'd uh, like to find out later. <laughs> a teenage girl, like, just sitting there, just hanging out with her flirting parents. <laughs> it's totally awesome. It's great. It's very rational behaviour from these people. Um, so what? Who writes this? I, I, look, I don't. Does this get, I have to say, I don't. Does this get on Netflix? Come on. Like I, it's difficult to watch it and not conclude that it was written by an angry thirteen-year-old girl. Oh my God. Yeah. Like it, it really does read like that. It, is, it, is that the audience? I guess. Like. I think so. Yeah. Because like everyone acts like a teen. It's like it's it's like a teenager writer. So everybody acts like a teenager, like an angry teenager thinks everybody acts. Yeah. Um, you know, like, everybody in the movie is a messy bitch who loves drama. Right. Um, 
So, what happens next, really? I think Trisha is getting hot for teacher. So, she's kind of a bit of competition for this girl. Um, so, Trisha's kind of making comments and, like, leaning over and showing a bit of, you know, a bit of chest. Um, and, uh, and meanwhile, we discover some information about the black-haired girl is that she has apparently previously had a relationship with a teacher. So, brown haired girl finds this that's out. even more reason to invite your daughter to your date with the teacher. Well, it, it starts to get a bit. Well, yeah, and like, because mum knows about it, obviously. <laughs> like, mum knows that she's had a, like, previously had a fling with a teacher, like a history teacher, I think. Um, so, uh, what happens next? So, so they just. Um, so, Trisha's getting interested. Oh, she's texting. Text. Well, no. She's not in the end, is she? That's it's because right. that's a twist. Yeah. Um, so that comes a little bit later. I've just lost my place here. Um, Trish is getting interested. Um, oh yeah. So they've discovered yeah, and and they've discovered this. And Trish is getting friendly with brown hair. And so black hair tries to kind of sabotage their friendship because she okay. So because black hair and brown hair have become friends, they've bonded over being like, you know, having no friends and meet each other in the computer room and. Uh, also, hanging out and dating. Well, isn't that confusing? happens a bit later yeah so so closer. yeah so black hair is definitely using brown hair to get closer to the teacher um to get closer to mr sumner okay so that is kind of happening so but then um trish is like pushing something between them so black hair comes up with a plan to um bring brown hair back into the fold and takes like sexual photos of herself with her camera phone and then, like, prints off millions of copies of them, sneaks into the school, hides them all in her locker, so that when she opens her locker, thousands of them fall out, and then she bursts into tears and runs off into the computer room. And she goes, and then, you know, of course... Of herself. Yeah. Like, as though she was set up. Oh. Right. And, and, and yeah, and so... And brown hair is, like, comes after her, and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I guess... I guess Trisha obviously is a psychopath after all who has it in for you. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. Oh, when of course she had nothing to do with it, really. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so things are kind of getting um, getting a bit closer with the parents. Uh, I feel like we might be skipping some stuff, but like nothing that happens in this movie makes any sense, so it doesn't matter <laughs> if we skip anything, really. It's Hi. just... I feel like this is going to be a short podcast. It could be. Us. Well, we're, oh, yeah. yeah, it might be. Um, what is next? So, mum and the teacher are getting close. Um, and things are kind of, kind of hotting up between them. And that's when Black Hair stages her big intervention. Okay. She, um, she has been, I don't really understand how, like, what the, ra like, what the rationale for how it's happened is, but she's somehow, tr I think, oh, that's what happens at the very start. He, like, he's a terrible teacher. Like, at the, at the, he's a terrible person, he's a terrible teacher. Like, one of the first things he does is he's like, I really care about all of you students, so if at any time you want to talk to me about anything at all, ever, um, you know, you can do that. And I think he's like, by the way, here's my mobile phone number. Uh, um, uh, so he just, like, has no boundaries whatsoever. Like, he's not capable of, of, uh, of setting up boundaries with his students. <laughs> So, and that obviously goes very well for him. She, he, so Trisha's been texting with him, as far as he knows. And then suddenly Trisha starts sending him these hot and horny messages um, while he's at his, uh, his, whatever her name is, the, uh, the, the mother. mother's house, yeah. And his mo the mother sees it, and she loses her shit, obviously. Because it's a student. No. no, like that's what's kind of awful about it is like she's just kind of jealous of Trisha. Oh my god! Like that's it. That's like everyone. Like nobody makes like rational adult decisions. He, she's not like well, you're obviously like, like a pedophile <laughs> and belong in jail. She's just like, uh, well, how long has this been going on with this other girl? Oh my god! <laughs> um. <laughs> so, but it turns. But then and then we see. You know, and this this girl's like, oh my gosh, 
you know, like, oh, I can't believe that was happening, Mum, that's terrible, and sneaks off to her room and then, like, takes out her phone and breaks it because, of course, it was her all along. She was pretending to be Trisha. Oh, my God! So she set him up um, and then sneaks out to his car where he's sitting and is like, oh, can I just sit in your car and talk to you for a moment? And I, I guess I feel, as a teacher... <laughs> If you have just been accused of being a pedophile, with evidence, the answer to that question is, no, <laughs> please leave. Also, if you've just had a row with your partner. Yeah, your partner whose mother, who is the mother of this girl, is just saying, can I sit in your car? Oh my god. So obviously he lets her in the car. I think, is that where she like kisses him for the first time or like tries to, so, yeah. and he's just like, um, this seems like a bad idea, but I'm just going to kind of going to passively oh, like not do much about it. He doesn't really do it. He doesn't, yeah. He's, he's like, you, she, you didn't so, go like, away from that situation thinking that he was actively discouraging her. Oh. So, uh, yeah, so then he goes back to school. Is there like a moral at the end of this or no? Uh, like you can try and if you if there is one, I'll let you try and work it out. Like uh, he goes back to school. Uh, nobody nobody gets uh, nobody tells like the principal. By the way, that he's like mum doesn't ring up and say by the way. Well, she like she does, but like only to get Trisha into trouble. Like I can't even remember. Like I don't ex know like exactly what I think. Like she just report like anonymously calls in like a call on Trisha or something, but it's it's not even like, it's not even, she doesn't even like really mention him. Be, be, and again, because she's just like a messy bitch and just wants to oh like, just like fuck with Trisha because she like stole her man. Um, so they, they, in, they look into Trisha's locker. And so when Black Hair gets home, um, she's like, hey, uh, I know that Trisha got in trouble today because guess what? I'm the one who got her in trouble. And do you know what happened? They opened her locker, and do you know what they found? A broken mobile phone. And it contained all of these texts, and also, um, you know, th that picture of you um, that they found in your locker. So I'm so sorry for not believing you, honey. So the idea is that the black-haired girl has, has put her... Mother. Well, no, has like take has broken you know that that phone that she broke like yeah, she yeah, broke yeah. it in half like it was a flip phone yeah she and hidden it in Trisha's locker but like first of all what the fuck kind of IT department does the school have <laughs> that they have then reassembled this broken phone <laughs> to investigate the contents <laughs> um, it's, it's my first thought. <laughs> Um, Am I fine? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's so funny. So, that's a first thought. But she's texting him saying honey as her. It's not, she's not pretending to be her mother. Or is the mother's relationship with the teacher over now? No, the mother's relationship with the teacher's over. No, she said hey honey to the black-haired girl. She said she, she's now... She's now smugly reveling oh. in their shared revenge on Mr. Sumner. Um, oh, by see. again, nobody has reported to the school that their oh. teacher is allegedly sleeping with the Sexting students. With all these yeah, girls on but the phone. but for whatever. But yeah, and so I don't I don't know what they did find on the phone because, like, Trisha gets expelled, I think, but doesn't get like. Mr. Sumner stays at school. So then, then there's a big fallout between um, Black Hair and Brown Hair. I don't even remember what it is. Like, no, I don't remember. No, I. But oh no, of course. So they they organise to have a party. Oh yeah. yeah. So um, Black Hair girls like, oh, you know, you should have a party. Um, and she's like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, my well-balanced friend. Let's do that. <laughs> um, so they have a party at their house. They like invite everyone to school. And again, 
Ah, uh, just so many moments of just like, what the fuck is wrong with everyone in this movie? Like, again, like Dad's just like, yeah, that's great. Let's just, um, we totally should have, like, every teenager that I teach at my school oh, in my house man. for a party with alcohol. Um, oh, man. So there's like this more excellent adult decision making going on. So they're it's all. It's almost like every teenager's fantasy of their coolest teacher, isn't it? Like it, it, it's very, it's very, yeah, like it's, it's cool, very teenage. The cool teacher would have parties. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, like if yeah, because it's yeah, it's like we said we thirty. It's like if we yeah, have like if I was a teacher, I wouldn't care if like kids came to my school and drank. It's like whatever. Like who gives a fuck. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, like when, when. Like if I was a teacher, I was hanging out with the students all the time. I'd yeah. like fucking smoke weed with them and shit. It'd be awesome. Yeah. Do you guys think you have kids like that? Like, uh, no, I, uh, no, no, I don't. I, I, I think I had a teacher like, like socialised with students one time, but they were like family friends, I think, and 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 and, and even then, that you could tell they were like consciously keeping a level yeah, of, of would, distance. I went to school with a girl whose dad was the deputy principal, but, like, <coughs> and, and, and I'd stay at her house a few times, but, it, like, he, he didn't hang out with us, you know? Mm. He was just the dad, you know? Yeah. Um, well, Mr. Sumner isn't hanging out with the students he's either. He's having sex with them. He's... he's at the party. <laughs> well, he's in his room when he gets accosted by uh, Black Air. And um, who amongst other things, like, and this is like a super weird moment because it kind of doesn't really come up ever again, like tells him that his daughter has a drinking problem yeah. and has had a drinking problem for like the last couple of months. Which impacts like literally no part of the plot, like as far as I can remember. Like it's just it's it doesn't it doesn't yes, impact anything whatsoever. Am I right? Like that never comes up again, does it? Well, actually, after oh. the scene in the bedroom at the party, yeah, I turned it off. Oh, so you don't know how it ends? <laughs> I actually could not watch it anymore. No. Oh my god! <laughs> no, well, yeah. So, so this this plot point about the drinking problem doesn't come back. It just it, nothing happens to it. It means nothing. It's it's <laughs> utterly meaningless. Um, so yeah. So she tells, and then she's like, starts kissing him, and there's, and he's like, oh no, stop, don't, we shouldn't do this. Like, I this swear he wasn't yeah. very threatened. Like I yeah, swear no. he was totally reciprocating. And oh yeah, and that's yeah. why I turned it off. Cause yeah, I, I just I was like, oh you're an idiot. Like, yeah, I, I wasn't oh. invested in it. No, he's one hundred percent into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like every, everybody, like that's awful. brown hair, low. Like I guess, kind of deals with things the most rationally, but basically everybody in this movie is a terrible person and an idiot. Um, so yeah, so he absolutely reciprocates, and that's when he's caught by his daughter on the bed with. Oh, and like it's, and again, it's like like you talked you talked about this moral thing. Like I don't know what the moral is meant to be, because, like when we get to this point like all of the the visual cues and the music cues and the lighting everything like kinds of points to this is like meant to be a kind of a sexy scene not really uh we're not meant to feel uncomfortable really like we're meant to be like oh this is hot and i thought leading up to that point that he was going to be set up i thought he you know he wasn't too bad of a guy like he certainly wasn't going to end up on the bed like half naked oh, like with her on dumb and trying yeah. to be a good teacher and yeah exactly yeah. and then oh. and then seeing him just like wow. you know <laughs> he's just, uh, yeah, well, oh well, yeah, uh, let's go. Yeah, yeah uh, okay then. And kind of, and there's like also it. like this line, like where she's like, oh, I guess you didn't know that I'm 18. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's almost like it's like, oh man, if we don't have this line in it, like people won't find this sexy. Yeah. Um, and it's it's still kind of not sexy, it's still kind of like really uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And she looks, I mean, what I remember about that scene before I checked out was that <laughs> she looks like a teenager. Oh, like she is, you know. Man. And then just he looked like she, a man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it was just like, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't after that. Yeah, it, like the whole thing is deeply problematic. So yeah. he gets, and he gets caught. But if course. he's a pedo <laughs> and she tells him she's 18, like, 
that would surely that would be like a turn off for him. <laughs> well, I mean, like he's. Uh, I mean, uh, look. They, I mean, there's. Uh, how many reasons could we list about why? teachers shouldn't sleep with their students you know it's, it's like it's not a short list you know there's a there's a substantial range of reasons why that's like Problematic. morally you know not good so she, he gets caught and ends up having an argument with his daughter unsurprisingly ends up having like an argument with his daughter like in front of like in front of all of Sorry. all of her friends like, where he's very clearly in front of all these teenagers who are drinking at his house, having an argument with his daughter about the fact that he's tried to sleep with her classmate. Oh. Um, and, and, and he, again, none of this I mean, ever what is he affects doing? him. Like, is he defending his decision to do that? I like, don't. I, don't, he, I think I he's just like, no, I don't under, you don't understand. And, oh, no. and I think, like, he maybe brings up this, the, like, the, the apparent um, drinking problem. Um, oh. or whatever. <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty extraordinary. Um, and so he goes b back into the room with black hair for a moment. And we're going to pause there for two seconds. So then something very special happens. Because somebody actually, I think this is the only point in the entire movie where anyone does something sensible. Because black hair's like arguing with uh, Mr. Sumner, and she's like, "What? You're just going to leave me here? Uh, is your daughter more important than me?" And he's like, "Yeah," which is like it, it almost feels wrong at this point because it's like such an obviously rational decision to make, um, and it, that it feels out of place with the rest of the movie. Oh man! So. Um, so now Black Hair has alienated herself. She's pissed off Mr. Sumner. So she decides she needs to have some kind of plot to make them like her again. So she comes up with a genius idea. She's like, hey, Trisha, uh, we need to talk. Meets up with Trisha. Um, and... And... The, and like somehow plans it so that they meet up somewhere where she knows Mr. Sumner and uh, brown hair will turn up and then proceeds to like punch herself in the face throw herself into a pit of rocks and then, and then like they, you know those chairs with like little metal holes in them Yeah. like puts her fingers in there and like breaks her own fingers so that it seems as though Trisha has beat the shit out of her. Oh my god, that is the most... Who wrote this? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, legitimately, like, legitimately, yeah, I, I think, yeah, like, it's difficult not to think that. So, Mr. Sumner and, and Brown Hair arrive, and they're totally like, oh my gosh, what's happened? Oh, we're going to get you to a hospital, sweetheart. So they're like, suddenly like, kind of buddy-buddy again. <laughs> Um, they take her to the hospital, um, where they, they put her in, she gets looked after at the hospital, and then she's like, oh, I just, everybody, you know, says, you know, oh, well, you know, get some rest and da 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 Um, and then... She told them it was Trish yet, or is she just like... No, no, she, no, she, she's pretending it's Trish. So she's told them it's Trish? Yeah. Okay. That's why Trish was there to like yeah. make it look as though I think Trish even gets dragged off by cops or something and like yeah it's so what has she actually ever done that's been bad in the movie Trish yeah oh, she's just like a bitchy girl she's just like like she's competition for the teacher and she's like just a bitchy girl she's like uh, yeah why don't she take a photo of me for the school newspaper um, which I won't read because reading's for losers like you. Um, so there's that whole sort of thing going on. Um, but like really mild, I'm like... Her for yes, yeah, <laughs> it's exactly right, it's exactly what she does, it's great. It's such, <laughs> it's such a good plan. And then what? Is this like the end of the movie? We're getting towards the end of the movie. <laughs> so it's night time now. Um, and I think like everybody's talking, um, mum's like really mad, she's like, you never contact me again. 
I think that like, like the. Did they find out it was her framing herself? Like she framed Trish. Did they ever find that out? No. Like why would the mother no. not speak to the daughter because she slept with the same husband, the man, the, the teacher? Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, and oh man, something else even happens like before this, like like brown hair gets black hair in trouble, I think. This or something. Like, Mon, I can understand why you switched this off. I just I, like, see, like see the reason I can't remember what exactly these schemes are is because Mr. Summoner never ever gets in trouble. So it's like any of the logical stuff of like, oh they must have told the principal, it's like, no, that can't be it. <laughs> because they wouldn't leave a like a teen hungry, you know, pedophile in charge of a class, you would think. Oh, um <laughs> Um, anyway, so here's where it ends. Um, she's like, I just want to speak to Mr. Sumner one last time. Oh my god! <laughs> and so everyone talks about it, and they decide, oh, it's obviously it's not too bad an idea. That's 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 totally reasonable <laughs> that we should leave these two together one more time. Alone again. Yeah. And then she's like, look, um, now everybody's. I don't, I don't remember what the logic is, but it's like. Look, Mr. Sumner, now we can run away together. And he's like, yeah, um, let's not do that. That's a, that's a bad idea, actually. I'm uh, going to move, leave town with my daughter, actually, and we'll start a new life where hopefully I don't fuck everything up again. Fuck everybody. Uh, again. Yeah, right, right. So they, um, he's just like, he tells you where he's going to be, by the way, for whatever reason. It's like, yeah, I'm just going to go to, uh, to the school right now and uh, tidy up my desk and clean things up. Um, so everybody ends up at the school at night, and we sort of see, we sort of get a hint of what's happening. Black hair looks at the side of the room for whatever is reason. This the dessert school, with the black. Yeah, hair? they're going to end up in the school very soon. Okay, yeah. For whatever reason, somebody's left a scalpel in Black Hair's room, so she takes the scalpel and heads off to school. Um, because you can do a lot of damage with a scalpel blade. Confronts Mr. Sumner in his room. Oh no, he, he confronts, uh, she confronts um, uh, Brown here in the school first and like stabs her in the guts with a scalpel um, and then goes and sees Mr. Sumner and then there's a scene which I don't, like the cues, like the, the cues in this movie, like the music, like the visuals, <laughs> like the everything about it, it are just so all over the fucking place that she holds the, the, uh, the um, scalpel against his neck and like forces him to make out with her. And it's like, is this meant to be... While she cuts his throat or... Well, like... no, like like under threat of, of being murdered. She's like, ah, oh, you can make out with me now or die. You can love me now. Yeah, and, and he's like, oh, where's my daughter? He's like, yeah, we're not going to worry about that. And just, just kiss me. So she's, she stabbed the daughter? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um... And it's just, it's, I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just a bit dumb, but I just think this movie is, is all over the place. Is that where it ends? Is it? No, 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 it's not oh. ended yet. It's still going. Oh, dear. But it's like, is this, is this meant to be hot? Is this meant to be, like, creepy? Like, I, I don't even know what I'm How supposed to feel yeah. anymore. Maybe it's as, giving him an out. It's like, oh, well, you're allowed to kiss her because... Yeah, it almost feels like, it almost feels like, um, like, yeah, it's giving the, um, the viewer a, a, a reason to feel like it's acceptable to kind of enjoy it as a hot scene but it's kind of not a hot scene either because it's just so fucking weird yeah that is really weird isn't it so they make out for a while um and then he like resists her and then she kicks him in the ankle and he falls down and beats his head on the table and is rendered unconscious <laughs> um, what does she do to him she could well then the janet is coming around um so she curls up in a ball and then the janitor opens the door, sees her, and this is the scene that we've all seen, goes, oh, I'll get help, runs out, other girl comes up to him, um, you know, smears blood on him, says run, and then the other girl comes up from behind and instantly uh, slits the janitor's throat and kills him. So... And that's the end. No, it's not the end no. yet. <laughs> you keep saying it, it's totally the end. <laughs> um, she uh, runs, and then there's basically like this is the part of the film 
Like, this is the only part of the film that's kind of good because for the first time, like, they've got the cues right. It's, like, it's it's clearly a chase scene. It's clearly on edge. Like, there's clearly a good guy and a bad guy. We're clearly rooting for one person. Who? Um, like, the, the brown-haired girl. Like, we don't oh, want her to die. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the daughter yeah. is being chased it's by, being chased by the, maniac with the, the maniac with the scalpel. Yeah. So, like, for the first time, like, it's just a very simple story about uh, the psychopath is trying to kill the uh, the good girl. And, like, for whatever, like, just for the next sort of five minutes, the movie kind of works. Like, it makes some kind of sense. That's all you get, though, five minutes. About five minutes, yeah, of, of this movie, like, just not making you oh, cringe. Man. Um, I feel like I have to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> they end up in the photography room, um, a scuffle ensues, and somehow brown haired girl, I think she like slams her into a wall or something and, and saves the day, you know, and knocks her out. Um, they're all brought out in ambulance stretches and we get to, we, we move on to the final scene. So. We end up. I'm so unimpressed. We end up back in, like suburbia, and it's just Mr. Sumner and his daughter, and they're saying, "Well, it's 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 been nice to have a new start, and now we're you know because we're in the future now, and now it's time for another new start, honey, you know, go and enjoy college." And she's like, "Thanks, Dad. I'm off to college now," and gets into the car and drives off. And it seems like that's the end. And Dad waves goodbye. And then the camera pans slightly to the left. And then, like, a figure wearing a hoodie steps forward with a scalpel in their hand. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, like, a jump scare, like, shoot! And then that's it. Fade to black. And that's the movie. <laughs> I cannot believe that. That is the most ridiculous thing. I think I've ever heard. I, I, I was watching this and I was like, I, I need to share this with, with Jenna because this is this is nigh on the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Um, I feel like it has to get like a three out of five for <laughs> entertainment. That's more than the for, Avengers got. For entertainment purposes. Okay. For stupidity. Um, it seems unfair to get Monterey because we only really get the person who hasn't seen it to rate it. But um, uh, Jenna, do you have any closing thoughts on that? I'm going to watch this. Go I for it. Mon, <laughs> 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 um, do you have any closing thoughts? Who? Like, oh, just I'm, I'm not. I'm not sad that I didn't finish it. <laughs> you don't feel like that ending would have changed your view of. No, of things. I was watching it alone too, so whenever I was sort of laughing because it was outrageous, there was no one to, you know, I was looking around for like <laughs> some, yeah. someone to be like, yes, this is horrible. That was fun. Jenna and I, <laughs> Je Jenna and I did that with um with uh, what was it, Fifty Shades of Grey. Shades, yeah. But I think that that wasn't even that didn't even end up being fun with that one because you were just like, I'm so disturbed, I'm so upset. I can't watch this. <laughs> <yet anymore." laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, Jenna, any other closing thoughts? Because um, you seem to have a thought. How many... Think of the amount of people that it takes for a movie to actually happen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know, like, made. <laughs> it's not just a, someone who wrote it, but who who approved the script. Yeah. Who, you know, who agreed to act in that movie. Like... Yeah, and it's... You know? What the fuck? And that's a, and that's a point that I, I will raise with it, which is, like... You know, it's it's okay to have like parents. Parents do fail their kids. Like parents do bad things. Like parents can be complicated, awful people. Like it's not necessarily a problem that um, you know that the mum character is this kind of shitty person who you know like her thought when her teacher boyfriend is sleeping with the students is like, oh, I'm uh, I'm gonna get that bastard. How dare he! look she at other girls me. instead of me. Yeah. But like, what is a problem is that the movie, like the, that's never raised as a problem. Like, it's nothing, the, nothing about the movie makes it seem like, uh, this is obviously bad parental behavior. 
and uh, this is a deeply dysfunctional family. Like the movie make seems to be like, yeah, like that's what I'd do, man. If like, if like somebody was cheating on me, like I'd smack that hoe. Like it, it's never, it's never like indicated to the viewer that anybody's behavior is problematic. It's just like, yeah, this is like a real movie about like how real people would act in this situation. Yeah, like and, they weren't they weren't using those characters to um, they're, they're they're normal, to get a yeah. response from you. They were just kind of trying to create this weird like sexy <laughs> dynamic between a student and a teacher like that's I don't know that's what the, the movie kind of felt like right and like, what yes, does she yeah. do nuts? like there's no explanation for her the student yeah, yeah. Like, there's no real explanation for, to trigger her to because mass he's murder. so irresistible I think that was the whole like well that's the other thing <laughs> yeah that like this like this he, I mean it's not unattractive yeah, like he's a very standard, like moderately attractive, you know, very sort of teacherly <laughs> dude. Like he's like there's nothing about him that that is like you know pants droppingly hot. Like he's just like not to you know he's I'm sure he does all right for himself, but like he's <laughs> like it, that part of it was kind of a bit hard to. I don't I don't I don't want to be body shaming or anything on this. This podcast, but like I didn't, I didn't feel like average Joe. Yeah, he was just like, he was just, he was. I don't know that I, I'd expect somebody to murder for him. No, but like even um, his personality, like there was nothing. Yeah. Kind of, you know, redeeming like, even. Yeah. Let alone. <laughs> yeah. Like he was just like a, a, a slightly more. It was, yeah, it was just like a, a somewhat woke, aware teacher who could kind of engage tolerably well with his students. Like, yeah. Um, final thoughts? I know I've said it a few times, but... Um, Jen is concentrating on a, not hitting a car, so, uh, so we'll close it off there. Yeah. Yes, All right. let's close it off. If anyone wants to have a night and we watch it together, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> we will let you know. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>